comedy writer and actress Carolyn Ahern has died at the age of 52. Ahern, star and writer of The Royal Family and The Mrs. Merton Show, had suffered from cancer, her publicist said. The actress said two years ago that she had been diagnosed with lung cancer, having previously had bladder and eye cancer. Ahern was also the narrator of Gog Box and appeared in the Fast Show. Her publicist Neil Reading said on Saturday, Carolyn Ahern has sadly passed away, after a brave battle with cancer. The BAFTA award-winning writer and comedy actor died earlier today at her home in Timperley, Greater Manchester. She was 52. The family asked for privacy at this very sad time. Obituary, Carolyn Ahern Celebrities pay tribute to comedian. True comedy genius. Ahern had spoken of her diagnosis with cancer while addressing an appeal to approve cancer care in Manchester in 2014, saying, I've had cancer and my brothers had cancer and we know how it affects people. She said she and her brother had been born with cancer of the retina, adding, My mum told us that only special people get cancer. I must be very special because I've had it in my lungs and my bladder as well. Ahern's co-stars and fellow comics have been paying tribute to her. Sue Johnston, who played Barbara, the mother of Ahern's character Denise, in The Royal Family, said, I'm devastated at her passing and I am numb with grief. Ralph Little, Denise's brother Anthony in the show, said Ahern was a sister, real and, for me, fake as well as a genius and a friend with the big, big heart. The Fast Show co-star Arabella Weir told the BBC Ahern was an absolute genius and that everything she said was funny. She said, she was one of those people who was, without being attention-seeking, always, always funny, even when you weren't filming. Everything she said was just killingly funny. She was just a great and she was a gentle, kind, easygoing person. She was great to work with. She never made a fuss. She was just a real laugh to be around. Broadcaster Terry Christian, who had also worked alongside Ahern, said, What it was with Carolyn was she was genuinely one of the funniest people just in the pub. A lot of comedians aren't. You know they go away, write it all down and you know in real life there's nothing. Whereas with Carolyn, she was so naturally sharp and witty and that's why everything she did had that risk factor in. You know if you look at the Mrs. Merton show, none of it was set up. Not a single question with the audience was set up. Did you ever think if you hadn't done all the running around playing football, would you have been as thirsty? Did you ever think when you were a little kid dot 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 you would be famous in every pub in Britain? George Best gave a little smile and looked round to the audience. If anyone else had asked it, they would have been on his side, but the laughter said it all. Poor George just had to sit there and accept that, Mrs. Merton, this young woman in a wig and glasses, could ask the questions no one else could dare. And they loved her for it. The same lines from someone else could easily have just sounded cruel. Equally on the royal family, flatulent Jim, camped permanently on the sofa and feckless selfish Denise seemed to be, on paper, hard characters to warm to. But there was always something affectionate in this comedy. Carolyn Ahern had many troubles but perhaps they also helped her convey something that's often missing in comedy, empathy. The royal family didn't seem patronizing or mocking because it so clearly grew out of her own life and experiences. She was one of us, just funnier. Actor and writer Mark Gaddis said Ahern was so gifted, and Little Britain star David Walliams wrote on Twitter, absolutely devastating news about Carol and Ahern. A true comedy genius, her work was equally funny and touching. Jenny A. Clare wrote, Poor dear Carol and Ahern, how terribly sad. Comedian Sarah Millican said, So sad. What a wonderful talent she was. David Batty E.L. paid tribute by writing, The Talent you all knew about. But she was a really lovely woman. Vulnerable and complex and damaged but lovely. Hash Carol in her narrative. Some also recalled their favorite lines, with DJ and writer Danny Baker writing on Twitter, Goodbye Great Carolyn Ahern. A gift and language that lives on. A vegetarian? That's a shame. Could she have some way for thin ham?
Barbara? Ahern was born in London but grew up in Wythenshaye, Manchester. Her brother Patrick has said she was the family joker, adding, nobody else in the family was like that. But she was funny from the time she was really little. She studied drama at Liverpool Polytechnic then started work as a secretary at the BBC before finding national fame in the mid-1990s with Mrs Merton, in which she starred as the eponymous chat show host, and the fast show.